to adjust the power amplifier we need to do the DC offset on the output here and here which are left and right channel uh, the trimmer to adjust is VR1 for the output left channel and VR2 for the right channel On the service menu, show the power amplifier protection board. One and three are for the input from the power amplifier. So if we can check the voltage number one and number three, then we can find out the DC parents. Uh, this is the uh, actual board for the power amplifier protection board. And you can see here show number one and number three right here. So we get to hook up the uh, meter to sh check the uh, voltage for the uh, DC parents. To check the uh, DC offset for the output, just need to hook up number one in the ground uh, with a meter here. And number three here is for right channel. Okay, let's turn on the power and see what is the uh, DC offset is. Okay, turn on the power and you can see the meter. And we go up to about 0.1 volt there. And then we can check uh, number three. And number three is the last. The DC offset is around, actually lower, it's about 30 something. There are four trimmer on the power amplifier board. And this is a two outside one, it's for adjust the bias. And the middle one, they are used to for adjust the DC offset. And this is for the left channel, so we should use to adjust this one first. And this is for the right channel, which is for the number three. When we hook up a number three pin, we adjust this one. But right now we are check number one right now. So we adjust this one. And see we can get it down the uh it's a uh, reading lower okay use a screwdriver and adjust this a trimmer you can see we can make this uh, lower right now 120 121 so we just keep more rotate until it goes to zero and you can go see it going down now so it's very very close to zero it's pretty good we're going to do the same thing adjust the right channel and we can make it close to zero too No, it's getting close to zero now. Okay. And right now it's point close to five meter meter wall too. So both is close zero volt 
på det lige og selv. To check the bias, I usually check the current between uh, the emitter, resistor from this end to this end. Okay, so I hook up the terminal, one on this end, the other one on this end. That way we can check the uh, bias. Let's turn on the power. Now I show close 20 right now. So eventually I don't need to adjust it's really close to 20. Um, otherwise, we can adjust this uh, trimmer there. Um, actually, I can try and see. Didn't that work? You know, it's about 25. And I think we can turn it higher or lower right here I think service manual didn't tell how to adjust this but eventually you can adjust by yourself I make a 22.5 right now for the left channel okay I hook up the terminal on right channel too and see we can turn the power right now this one got 23 22 so 23.1 it's very close 20 so it's okay but we can still adjust it to 24 we can make it lower 22.8 so okay after all the adjustment done we can put the, everything back this is a cover just need to put back here and it's ready for a test Okay, let's do some demo after the service done. Turn on the power. Uh, this is the uh, FM. Very good. Both sides, the output. So same. Let's turn on. Try a CD. Okay, turn on the music then. Crystal. That's how I'll cry on 
my pillow. If you should tell me farewell and goodbye, la la whisper low, kiss me sweet and we'll go. Flying high in birdland, high in the sky, up above. Because we're alive.